JNR Shugel is excited to offer to you in-cab scanning abilities to all of our drivers. This new advanced technology is beneficial in cutting down empty miles, time spent waiting at truck stops, it will improve your MPGs, and faster turnaround for our accounting department to be able to pay you more quickly and to bill our customers. As in the past, all paperwork scanned in by noon on Monday for company drivers and noon on Wednesday for lease purchase drivers. Those regulations still stayed in place. When you receive your in-cab scanner, open up the box and properly inspect all the parts that are in it. You will receive a laminated card with instructions as to how to properly scan your paperwork. You will also receive the calibration documents or paperwork in order to calibrate your scanner the cord, and the scanner, which is a, needs to be kept in the protective sleeve. To connect your scanner, take the small end of the cord and plug it into the back of the scanner. You will then take the USB cord and attach it to the left-hand side of your Qualcomm. On the home page of your Qualcomm, you will want to go to the scanning application. Before you are able to scan any documents, you will need to calibrate your machine. In order to do that, you will go to the third page, or the third tab, which is the Options tab, and click on the button to calibrate. Before you do that, before you push the calibration button, you will want to make sure you've properly inserted the calibration sheet into the scanner. When calibration is completed, you are able to now scan any paperwork to the company. When you go to scan, Press the scan button. You will need to select the type of document you are scanning. Our bubble sheet, which you will fill out for every trip, is called the trip sheet. You will need to scan a trip sheet with each section of papers that are 10 or more pages. So pages 1 through 10 will have a trip sheet, pages 11 will need to have a trip sheet, and then the additional paperwork. Select the trip sheet as the type of paper. Insert it face down into your scanner. Make sure it grabs the paper and then press the scan page. It may take a few minutes for it to scan. When it is done, it will slide it all the way through the side and then you have the option to look at the page that you've scanned and either accept it or reject it. If it does not look properly, click the reject button and rescan. When things look good, press the accept button and then you can hit done if you are done scanning all of your paperwork. When you are done, push the send button. It will ask to send confirmation that you have scanned your paperwork. Press OK. In the out box on the top, the middle tab, it will let you know when you have scanned your last documents. It will say it will have a green arrow by it if you have once it has been received here in the office. Again, you can scan 24-7, just like you could before. In order to properly secure, your, secure and protect your in-cab scanner, unplug all of the cords. Place the scanner back in the protective sleeve and place it in the box along with the cord. It is important to keep all of the equipment clean and free from dust and dirt. Keep it in the protective box that you've gotten and only pull it out when you do need to use it. We look forward to seeing you out on the road and hope you enjoy this new ability for you to be able to scan right from your truck, swift, easily, and without having to stop at truck stops. Happy trucking and be safe.